Already moved on. Night Train Lane and Dion is some of the books money picks. No surprise here. Listen, we see Night Train Sanders all over the field, but it all starts with Boogs passing offense. He wants to dominate games with guys like Chad Johnson and Randy Moss to stretch the field vertically. And Matt Stafford, one of the most interesting picks at quarterback in this entire tournament. He's an unconventional pick. A lot of the competitors here don't believe that that is the guy that's going to bring him to the promised land. Well, he's a big Detroit Lions fan, always repper. Zenton Motown, and tell you what, Stafford didn't look too bad, but the man from Crystal City, Texas, Silent Soldier, number 15, which is crazy, because a lot of people don't know a lot about him. He worked his way through the Challenger Series. He's come here and been able to make some noise, especially with the run game. A lot of it is from the Challenger Series, where he got all of those points. He also made it very far in the Madden Classic earlier in the year. I wonder if he's a Dallas Cowboys fan. Do you think <laughs> you he is? Think? Even though this is Tom Brady Day, but he's representing the Dallas Cowboys here, and he has a great opportunity here to control this game against Boogs with the run game. Yeah, we thought we might see a Dak or Ezekiel on the cover of Madden 18, but it is Brady. He has night train lane and only the 90. Six, Deion Sanders. That Deion still gets it done, still locked down all over the field, but I love this Demarius Thomas. He brings a lot of ability to also play run blocking for the offense of uh, Silent Soldier. And then Randy Moss and Aaron Rodgers, no surprise there. Rodgers, a lot of mobility, can stretch the field sideline to sideline. And so that man right there, we've had two upsets already as Boogs is going to try to not – Get beat by the man, Silent Soldier. Let's take a look at the scouting report. First for Bugs, brought to you by Xbox. Really want to see Bugs start this game on the right foot, not what we saw him in the previous group stage. I want to see him come out with his offense firing on all cylinders. If he can put up a, a score in his first possession, get a stop in his first defensive possession, I feel really confident about him getting a W here. What about Silent Soldier? Control the clock with the run game. I watched him play and prepare for about 15 minutes this morning up on the practice stage, and I was watching his reads. I was watching all everything he was doing offensively, and I was really wowed by it, and I found myself thinking, this is a guy I think that can can silently win this entire tournament if he plays mistake free and controls the clock. Well, his run game is incredible. He's first in rushing attempts. He's first in yards four. He averaged over 209 rushing yards per game. That is bananas. In the group stage, and he's going to have the ball first. Sorry, Boogs. And Dion will take it out to the 23 yard line. And that's where Silent Shoulder will start. You saw him look good in these uniforms. And you can see right out the gate, he runs the ball right off that right edge, a little halfback dive. You'll see that consistently. He uses motion a lot with Randy Moss. Goes back to Coleman. Only loss of the group stages was to Los by three, and that was his first game. How tough is Los looking right now, taking down the number three seed, Dubby, in our last matchup? He's believing right now. Both these guys on a two-game winning streak, third and two already. That clock is going to move fast when Silent has the ball. And he'll take it to the 43-yard line. A lot of things to note about his offense here. I like to call them fake makers, right? He'll run the ball, and then he makes fake adjustments, fake hot routes to try and confuse his opponent into thinking, okay, maybe a slant here, drag here, but he's really running the ball. Fake makers. This is a bit of a chess game when he's got the rock, and he goes back to Coleman. And even look, it looks like there's nothing there. He picks up four yards. Run first mentality to set up the pass, and for Boogs on the defensive side of the ball, you can see he's user controlling Sean Taylor. That is the player he's virtually controlling on the field. Sean Taylor needs to have a big day for Boogs. Sean Taylor has 92 speed. He has a lot of hit power. He can be the difference maker. If Boogs can get a big hit with him, that'll be good for his defense. So second and six, three yards shy of the 50. Not able to get rid of it. And down goes Rodgers. And this is the issue that you can have when you run an under center offense. You get into a second and short situation, you want to pass. You get interior block sheds where those defensive linemen can get after the quarterback and get a quick, easy sack for your defense. Moss solo to the left here on third and 11. Got to go to the air. He only threw the ball 28 times in the group stages. And he picks up a big fat one yard. 
Yeah, fourth and ten. Your first drive, it looks like he's going to play the aggressor on this. Really like to see him try to stretch the field downfield vertically. You saw Boogs defended that post that was over the middle of the field very well. I want to see him try and stretch the sideline there. If Boogs throws that corner blitz again, that sideline could be open. Watch for a corner blitz there. Sideline could be open on that right area. Only average 135 yards per game through the air. Fourth and ten, needs it. There's the corner. Quick throw. And everyone loves Larry. I think his family enjoyed it as well. He moves the ball past the 50 to the 43-yard line. Yeah, great place to attack a cover threes in the seam. That's where the defenders aren't. They aren't. Big conversion there for him. Oh, so that was dropped. Oh, drop pass in the seam. Every yeah. once in a while, we'll get it wrong. Whew. <laughs> where am I? Still watching the Lowe's game. I, I, think I don't watching. know where I am. <laughs> so Boogs will take over. Zero. It's a big time drop by Larry. Wow. My awareness rating just went down. We'll, we'll, we'll give you a break on that. I felt <laughs> bored too. I, I didn't see it there. But great start to the drive there for Boogs. That's going to be a tempo style of offense for him. You'll see this a lot. He wants to throw the short flat on a consistent basis. If it's there, he takes it. At that point, the defense then has to start biting down to take away those short reads, which then opens up your deeper patterns behind it. Shout out to Problem. He's sitting right near me. Turn around and goes, Coltrane, you're bad at this, bro. That's you dropped one. the football. That's one, man. How about the games we have coming up later? Sure. Maybe that's what's on my nine. Second and inches for Bugs. Usually a run from here off this right edge. It's a new formation that he's added here in the championship. And Coleman able to pick up the first down to the 31. Yeah, there's somewhat of a tell when he goes to that formation. Typically, he will run the ball, that power O, with a pulling guard to kick off that right edge. Uh, we've seen him a few times go to a check down to, to short, uh, short passes in the flat of that formation, but typically that's a tell for Boogs. He, he's going to run the ball from that set. That's about the look you're going to get out of Boogs. Not a lot of action from these guys, <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm not even sure they mic'd him up. They're like, ah, no need. We're good. We're good. First and ten. Clark takes a big time hit at the 28. So it's second and eight. Even though Boogs in the group stages started talking to himself, trying to get himself back into his normal routine. Well, I, I think when you saw him play in that group stage, I think the first matchup he had against Franchise really threw him off. Franchise did a great job uh, pressuring him, forcing Boogs to throw a lot of interceptions. That's not really something he's accustomed to doing, so it kind of threw him off his rocker. Burbank Chais? Burbank Chais. <laughs> Burbank Books. Burbank Gibbs falls. Throws it to the outside, and that's going to bring up third and eight. So he's in field goal range, but boy, a touchdown would be sweet for Boogs. Touchdown after that first defensive stand would be ginormous for him here. Watch for corner patterns are develop on that sideline here. You also have to watch for Moss streaking down the middle of the field and then breaking to the left as well. Motions Johnson a little bit. Steps up in the pocket. Has room. Matt uh -oh. Safford, what are you doing with your life? And he gains a yard. He looked like he was about to get past that lineman. And then just kind of runs into the back of him and falls down. But hey, take your points here if you're Boogs. This is a good way to start the game. So after the turnover on downs, he'll kick it down Main Street. Actually, sort of the best case scenario for Silent Soldier after yeah. the couldn't convert on fourth down. Yeah, and you know, after you know, watching him in pregame this morning Stop and the run, all, he's using Boogs. Let's just listen in. <laughs> but after after this, this morning watching Silent Soldier prepare and lab, I think one of the big advantages he has over a lot of the competitors in this tournament is that he doesn't lab with a lot of the players here. He plays with his friends at home and prepares with them. So you're not accustomed to seeing this formation and some of the things he's doing. So it gives his offense and defense a fresh look uh, compared to the, everyone else in this tournament. And that's something that can be advantage for him. He plays a lot like, you know, when you're playing your boy on the couch. You know what I mean? It's, it's that kind of style of, you know, I'm going to run the football a little bit on you. When you play, man, do you sit back at home, like, in your couch, like, coffee table in front of you, feet up, TV, like, 30 feet away? Not 30 feet away. <laughs> I don't know how big the rooms are on your house, kids. Not big enough. Jeez, 30 feet? 
in your theater room <laughs> where you're playing Madden. Gets a block, but can't get free. And, and right now, Silent's been doing a good job of running the ball, but when he's gotten into pass situations, he hasn't looked good. He's, he's gotten to two passing situations, wasn't able to convert. He had that one yard pass. And then you remember on the fourth and 10 where he had the turnover on down. So, you know, it's very, very important that he can keep staying in these third and short situations so it helps his offense convert on the ground. Boog's rocking that Iron Man controller. Third and inches here, big play. You think with that running game, third and inches is nothing. I mean, you run the ball here. Oh, yeah. You, I mean, you, you run the ball, pound the rock here. Coleman's been controlling. A lot of space to run in here, but Brooks going to use it. Able to pick up that. Whoa. Here we go. All right. Well, maybe he gained an inch. Yeah, this is a tough spot to be in now because, you know, fourth and inches, quarterback sneak is the typical call, but it kind of hurts to call it in this situation because you know your opponent will have defense for it. So you get to the cat and mouse of, of competitive Madden. It's not able to get on the last fourth down. That ball is sitting almost on the yard again. You see, you can't, you gotta run toss here. You go outside, gets a block. He's gonna have to beat Flowers to the edge and Coleman will. That'll move the chains. Maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, that was a good, good decision there. He kicks the toss out. He knows the sneak is defeated. Watch him stem this run out a little bit wider here. He loops and gets to the sideline. That's to prevent that dive tackle that, that uh, Broach was looking for to try and get the turnover on downs. Good play there by Silent. So the man from nearby San Antonio, Texas. Coleman, boy, looked like he could have Maybe juked it back a little bit left. I think that's the, the look on his face. We've seen, seen some very sticky runs from Silent yeah. in this tournament. One of the best runs. He had a little juke inside, gone for six on a run. I'm really watching Demarius Thomas right here dominate the safety in the run game. He's getting to the next level, and he's getting great blocks on him. Like I talked about at the top of the broadcast, Thomas playing a pivotal role, not in the passing game, but in the run game. Second and one after the big gain on first down. Gets to the edge. Night train lane. Boy, that was a huge block shed, or if it was off to the races. Well, of course, who was the block shed on? <laughs> Demarius Thomas right there. So Thomas, we're paying him all that homage there. And then uh, next thing you know, he gets block shed. But again, you can see here, what does it say? Third and in inches, OK? This is the key to the game here for Silent, and he's controlling the clock as well. Only trailing by a field goal, eye formation. So Coleman dots the eye, and they'll go fullback dive right up the gut. That's Aaron Ripkowski, 62 bronze, picking up the first down. So now two third and inches so far in this game. Sound Soldier has gone to the fullback dive to convert. See now Boogs, as he recognized that on the next one, get a little more aggressive attack in the middle of the field. So first and 10. Another thing you have to always watch out here, when you hate the safety split wide, a lot of running room in the middle. That'll take it to the 34 once again, second and inches. Yeah, and what happened there for Boogs, he, he split his safeties. You can see the play selection here, 12 rushes for Silent Soldier to two passes. So he's doing the, the, his job of controlling the clock here. He's put up 30 points a game on average in the group stage. Got a revenge over True Boy, 40. Nine to 20. And that'll move the chains. Ball now at the 31. Yeah, I like the, the more aggressive nature there from Books. He dropped to a set with two linebackers. You can see you got one linebacker here, one there, and then he's using the deep safety uh, to play and run support, a little more aggressive. So we'll see if it pays off here now in the passing set for Silent. Sides go the gun. Come on about the two minute warning and he might just take it there. And he will. So trailing by a field goal. But has the ball at the 31 yard line. This would be huge. Touchdown here would be huge for Silent. Oh, well, he's thinking to run the rest of this clock out here. Controlling this game right now. 13 runs to only two passes. Goes up the cut. That's Coleman. Gets a block. 
Slides down at the 21. So here's what's happened. You can see Bugs users trying to shoot in, in the middle of the field right there, spotlighted. That's only leaving the safeties in deep secondary. But Thomas and the tight end here are peeling to the next level, getting blocks on those deep safeties. There are no other defenders to help in run support. Every time Bugs goes down to that nickel front and puts four defenders on the defensive line, I think he'll be better off in this set here. You got uh, two linebackers in the middle of the field. That's going to help run deep. 90 seconds left in the half. And that was Dion bringing the heat. Second and 10. And what you're seeing right there from Silent Soldier is he's calling out uh, that he recognized that it was man-to-man. -man. He set up that play to uh, specifically attack that man-to-man -man defense that's playing a little bit more aggressive in the run game. Missed opportunity, therefore, and wasn't able to get the pass off quick enough. Yeah, C route takes a while to develop. And Dion gets there in a split second. Second and 10. Boog's not falling for this. You see his defensive line is split wide here. Look at that on the, on the defensive line there. Not, not jammed in the middle. Got to get rid of it. It's a fumble. It's on the ground. And once again, Dion coming in from the blind side, able to cause a fumble. And Trey Turner from the Panthers, able to get his big mitts on it. And that's where you see Deion Sanders a lot of time have success in these defensive schemes from everyone in this tournament, blitzing off the edge, not necessarily in coverage all the time. I'll tell you one thing, I run the ball here and I just tie this thing up. Not going in the direction he needs to go. Yeah. Yeah. Good heat. Throws it though, and it's completed. Yeah, don't listen to me. I'm well, just, I gotta say, I'm I mean, gonna go great, get a taco. Great play call there. <laughs> yeah. No, that is, yeah, certainly why we're here. Converts on a first down. Look, it just gets in just before the safety. Books clicks on right there, tries to get in with Paul E. Kraus, but he's able to get the first down. That's a huge first down because he'll be able to run more of this clock off here uh, in this first half. Goes back to the running game. This time he's in the red zone at the nine yard line, trailing by three. And Books will use his second timeout. And if you're Books here, you have to start committing a lot of resources to stop the run, but when that opens up, that could open up a nice little corner pattern here to the sideline, a little streak to Cumberland Farms off the edge. A lot of things there right now if Silent goes to the pass here. See that play selection. A lot of runs for Silent, no surprise. Gonna get another one here. Up the middle, gets a block. And we'll make it to the five yard line. So it's third and four. It, it, and let me just tell you another thing here is that it's really frustrating for a guy like Boogs to have to now play someone like Silent Soldier. Boogs, only that one possession, right? He, he has two rushes, two passes. He's run four plays, right? And he's got a field goal. So he hasn't really been able to get into the rhythm of this game. That can affect you not only in this half, but in the second half, because when it's time for you to put a drive together, you have not touched the ball. Right, so this is complete domination in the way that Silent Soldier wants to win this game. This is the formula. If he's going to advance and move on and shock the world in beating the six seed Boogs, this is the blueprint right here. Boogs hasn't played offense very well coming into this tournament, moving through the group stage, but he knows. He knows what Boogs can do. Watch for Fitzgerald here, right here. Bang. They also have a backside post there as well. Sometimes the best defense is a good offense. High pass! And he'll have to settle for three. All for nothing. That entire drive. Now, yes, you do settle for three here. You have to tie the game now. Billy Cundiff is his kicker. And he'll look to make this a 3-3 game. It's up, and it's through. It's so a long stand. drive. As you were saying, Boogs able to stand tall. I mean, that's a great defensive stand from Boogs, right? You, you back against the wall. You haven't been able to stop the run. But then when you need it, you're able to clamp down, hold a field goal. Now, you can erase this entire first half with a perfect executed drive here, put some points on the scoreboard, and then it's your rock to start the second half. So you could put this whole first half away, wipe the entire slate clean with a well-executed drive here. It's got no timeouts, so that's gonna be the issue with 42 seconds remaining in the half. The other thing, you gotta make sure you don't give your opponent a gift, and there's a sack. 
We'll see if Silent is going to use a timeout here. Boy, I'd burn one. Yeah, it, it, what you were seeing there from Books, he was going for a deep shot downfield. He ran a vertical down the seam and then a deep corner along with it. If he had more time in that pocket, he was going to deliver a dart down that right sideline. Watch for it again here off the right edge. Streak and a deep corner potentially off that right sideline. Second and 15 now. A little motion from Johnson. Stafford looking downfield. Good D. He'll take off with it. And he'll run out of bounds. Okay. Got to be careful. I, I, I huh. think, you know, he's running out of bounds there. Try I'm taking to avoid it to the, the half. Right. I know that. Yeah. But you got to slide down. Let's take you, it to the you half. Gotta <laughs> you got to slide. You got to slide. But he's thinking he can get a little bit more. Doesn't have any timeouts. You got enough time here to try to get a sideline pass in. And I've been proven wrong about 89 times this game, so. Probability is high, and there's a sack, and I'd take a timeout, and he will. Yep, and that's where you're right, right? Now you come back, and, and that's the right play call. Now, if you run the ball there, play a safe, conservative uh, play there, yeah, you still get to force a timeout, but you don't run the risk of a sack there. You can see right now both players, two sacks uh, for the de defense now. And if you're Boogs, just boot this ball out of bounds. Silent was not sacked at all in the group stages. And Dion can't shake free, so three to three. Gibbs, welcome to the booth. <laughs> bottom of the third, as you like to say, right? I mean, bottom of the third. But listen, that is exactly what you want to do if you're Silent Soldier. He is silently executing his game plan. He's got himself within striking distance. It's a tie ball game. Boog's one of the most potent offensive players we've ever seen in the Madden competitive scene. But this is what you want to do if you're Silent Soldier. Well, I tell you what, it's going to be some fireworks in the second half, whether it's a 6-3 to three game. Someone's got to come on top. Dave, take it away. Thanks a lot, gentlemen. Guys, two pretty quiet individuals, pretty quiet on the scoreboard. You heard Gibbs say uh, Silent Soldier executing exactly how he wants to. He averaged over 200 yards per game on the ground in group stage, Rico. What are you seeing in this one? You got to be happy if you're Silent Soldier right now. You have established the run. You're playing great on defense. You have Boogs defense held up. The only thing you got to worry about is getting to stop that first drive because you don't want to get this game get away from you and then capitalizing moving forward. I'm seeing Lions. I'm seeing Cowboys. I'm seeing Thanksgiving. I'm seeing Turkey. I'm seeing the nap you take after the turkey. <laughs> but this is a, a really tight battle, and if you're Boogs, you get ball at half. You want to start to pick up potentially the pace of this one, get your passing game going, and, and Silent Soldier, you are executing your plan, but maybe you need to just break one more run. Boogs too good, though, to let that happen. If you're Boogs... It is a really tough thing to find out that you can't stop the run in the biggest game on the biggest stage for all the marbles. Yeah. It's, it's definitely a tough feeling. He's going to have to come out something, channel a different defense or something like that, or else it's going to be a really long but short game. Yeah, this is not the time to figure it out. Now looking ahead to our next match. Now, Farrells, you're going to be uh, helping out with the call on this one, right? Tag me in, <laughs> Dave. Tag me in. This is joke against monster. This is EMB, FMB. This one is going to be serious. These crews, they don't get along. So you've got some, some people representing their guys. EMB already lost Beast Mode Mac today at the top of the broadcast. And then FMB, they only actually made it one guy out here, as Rico knows. But these, this game's going to be much more intense vocally. We have a, a very intense silent match going on, but we're about to have a very vocal, loud match in my estimation. Yeah, I'm anticipating a little bit more volume. And, and here's the, the thing. One. I know why they don't like each other. I found out before, and I'm going to tell you guys once I get over there. Ooh, that's what we call a tease in this industry. Very, very nice. want to remind everybody at home that you do not have to miss out. You can catch up on all the highlights from the Madden Championship on YouTube.com slash EA Sports. Right now, we have Drea with books. Thanks so much, Dave. Well, Boogs, I know you haven't touched the ball quite as much as you would like. How do you get into more of a rhythm offensively and counter silence defense better in the second half? When I come out in the, uh, to start the half, I just got to come out and execute. I got to get seven. I should have got seven on the first drive. But so far, everything is going well. I know he's doing what I expected him to do. Just got to execute. There's a lot of tension on the stage right now, but to lighten it up a little bit, I know you told me you're going back to the hoodie, the little ASAP Rocky LL Cool J look. Why is that the crunch time game day swag to get through this victory today? I gotta lock in. I gotta, I gotta focus and get rid of everybody that gets in front of me. 
All right, well, we'll focus in. Best of luck to you in the second half. Thank you. All right, let's send it to Scott and Gibbs. All right, thank you so much, Drea. Well, you heard from the man. Man, a few words. Not a lot of words after that first half. He really has to worry about the run game. But I'll tell you how he can fix this all, right? With another dr opening drive. We talked about at the end of that half. Can he come out and score a touchdown there? He's got another opportunity right now to do the same thing. And I think that will put a lot of pressure on Silent Soldier, who has not looked good in passing situations in that first half. Well, time for the second half here in a 3-3 game. You got to hydrate, my man. You're <laughs> here for a hell game. Oh, yeah. You got to all the water. All the water everywhere. It's, I mean, I love drinking water. I'm okay with the water. It's when he brings out the herbs and the kale shakes, the kale shakes and yeah. all that. That's when he I get a drinking, little queasy. He told me he was drinking something called a charcoal drink. What, I, need, I need to know why is charcoal good to drink? Because all I know is you put it on a grill and you light things on fire with it. I got no answers for you, my man. If you're you're the guy about, that's got the answers, man. If you're talking about barbecue ribs, I'm in. So let's see what Bugs could do. A second and 10 now in a 3-3 game. Just a reminder, single elimination. Winner advances. They've already had two punch their ticket. And Los and Volterax. This is game three of eight today. Stafford. Quick throw. That's going to bring up third down. So. Silent coming out, looking good on the first two downs. Great scout right now from Silent and how he's defending this formation. Boogs is getting pressure off the right edge of the bunch off the right side near the right sideline. And then he's, he's rolling his coverage to take away this left sideline. That's where Boogs wants to go with a drag or corner. Silent's taking it all away. So third and ten. Stafford. Good D. Will try to fit it in the window and he does. Here's Silent. He's like, I got to get to the quarterback. A little frustration there. I mean, he, he didn't send pressure, but what he's doing, he's bl blitzing here, that defender off the edge. Then he's dropping a hard flat defender, a corner defender. Boogs has no options. He wants to run a slant here and a drag here, and there's nothing available. That's available. Finds Dallas Clark to the 42, so it'll be second and five from there. Three receptions for Clark for only 17 yards. And a lot of it is the ability of Sound Soldier right now taking away these underneath options. Great scout report that he's had. Boots now needs to start looking to that right sideline a little bit more. There'll be some a lot of space open there, especially if Silent keeps blitzing off the right side. Well, we talked about his boys back in Crystal City, Texas. They're looking on. His family's here. Hoping to give him a little bit of good luck. Here in the third quarter and a 3-3 game. Boots. Pressure. Got rid of it, and Moss can't hold on if he gets flipped up in midair. Yeah, and you can see Boogs recognizes that he needs to attack the right side of the field, but then what does Silent do? He, can, he blitzes off the left edge, rolls coverage to the right side of the field. So that was just a, a bad timing for Boogs, and great timing if you're Silent. So here's another third down. This time, five is the yards the game. Bunch to the right. Corner blitz. Gets rid of it, throws it into Beautiful. coverage, and it's picked off. Beautiful. Beautiful. Night train lane. You know, there are some times when you watch a competitive game of man, pressure off the right edge, you can see he drops a defender, gets the swat, night train lane gets the pick. There are very few times when you're watching a game of competitive man where you, I just want to applaud. And, and the defensive play calls that I'm seeing Silent make right now, he's taking away all the reads that Boogs wants to go to, and he is winning this game, not because of his run game. And there goes Coleman. Off to the races and tripped up by Jalen Ramsey. And now Silent Soldier's got it all going his way. And everything right now working for him. His run game that's dominating Boogs' defense and his defensive adjustments keeping him in this game right now, keeping it close, 3-3. He's down here in the red zone once again. Had to settle for three last time. There's some motion. Blocking that slot. Coleman gets bottled up. There's Clark. Yeah, and something to note about the roster you see here from Silent Soldier. 
He uses that Demarius Thomas. He uses that Larry Fitzgerald. You don't see those uh, players on a lot of rosters here. You, you're accustomed to seeing Randy Mosses, Chad Johnsons. But not only are they great receiving threats, they're great in the run game, and that's where you're seeing the extra run blocking from his, deep, uh, his offense. Ball now at the 20. Second and 12, and that's picked off. And he might that's take this to the house. Down. He's crossed the 50, so the 30, the 20. See ya, it's a pick six as he high steps into the end zone. Dear diary, I'm gonna write that in this interception tonight when I go home. You thought Sean Taylor was going to make the big hit stick, but right here, quick little out pattern. He went and read that from the jump. He saw that that was the only route he had to worry about over the middle of the field. He jumped it from the go, and just like that, Boogs on top. And when you think silence dominating the game, all it takes is one play because he doesn't have enough points yet. So now silence got to an answer after throwing the pick six. You got to send your quarterback right back out there. Just what Boogs needed. He's struggling on offense and the out of position, Sean Taylor. Picks it off and takes it to the house. 23 plays so far for Silent, only 10 for Books. He's got the lead Good though. Stick. Coleman changes direction, gets out to the 26, second and three. And for a guy like Silent, that inner pick sick is really just the, the worst thing that could happen to you because you're trying to play this ball control, now you're gonna be forced to a little more up-tempo. That's a big swing too, because you're in at least field goal range. Come on. Next Come thing on. you know, you give up a pick six. Right. I mean, you're you're really talking about uh, I mean a nine point or a, a ten point swing at that point, right? I mean, field goal looked good at that spot, and here you are down seven. Could have been up three. You're down seven. Coleman. Taylor again. Reaches the ball out there. I think he's gonna. Nope. They're gonna give it to him. First down. Sean Taylor is starting to play really well no for Bugs that. defense, no making way. tackles in the interior of the field. Got the user interception. So Kyle to keep watching out for on this field. You see him right there in the middle of the field. That's Sean Taylor. So first and 10 with two minutes to go in the third. Silence trailing by a touchdown. Coleman's not in there on first down. Good Quick throw, one-handed grab and holds on. As Rodgers just completes his third pass of the game. Great play design. You see the uh, underneath pattern to keep the user defender, Sean Taylor, underneath. He runs a backside post for the first down. Coming up on 90 seconds remaining in the third. Back to Coleman. This time he's gobbled up. Loss of one. And you can see right here, cover four. Why is that important? There's a new mechanic into Madden 17 this year. It's called run fits. When you play a cover four defense, your two deep safeties here and here, they play run first, not pass first. So good defensive play calling by Boogs. Second and 11. Ball at the 44. Quick throw. And it's a fumble. Oh, and ball, somehow, Fitzgerald. Gets his own fumble back. Quick little out pattern to Fitzgerald, but Knight Train Lane, along with Deion Sanders, come in. Big hit, but Fitzy. <laughs> I mean, that's a second costly turnover right there that, that could have been a result of that fumble for Silent. He can't afford another one of those. Pulling Dimat would say, lucky. Shocks, pegs, <laughs> lucky. Third and eight. Big play for Silent. Throw has a man, and this time wow. I'm just going to confirm it. Yes, he did catch. Wow, big time <laughs> throw right there to Fitzy in the seam. He's in business once again. Hands it off to Coleman. Now he's at the 31. Almost a must score. Yeah, and what's difficult for Silent here is you feel like you're in control of this game because of the way everything was going until that interception. Uh, but even if you score here, it's only a tie game that you feel like you're climbing an uphill battle. There's the throw, has a man wide open. That's Randy Moss. A gain of seven, but more importantly, picks up a new set of downs. And we 
have already made our way into the fourth quarter. Oh, when you run the ball as much as silent, you're going to have a quick game. And now you're, you're in the territory where it's going to be even harder to find room in the air. It almost needs a quick strike here or a big running play. First and 10 from the 24 to start the quarter. Coleman shakes off one, but can't get away from the second defender, but does pick up five. And what I love seeing from Silent, he's looking where this user defender, Sean Taylor, goes. If he goes right, he runs left. If Taylor goes left, he runs right. So great patience in the ground game from Silent. High point pass, and it's a touchdown, Silent. Beautiful. Just, just a beautiful offensive position right there. Couple underneath patterns to keep Sean Taylor underneath. High point pass for the touchdown. So the extra point will tie this one. Not a formality. You can hear the clicking. That's Boogs trying to wiggle his way in there. How important is this game tying touchdown? You can see that Sean Taylor followed the underneath drag. So great play design. His family looks on. Smacking those thunder sticks right there. And we got a tie ball game, fourth quarter, kid. So first and 10 for Boogs at the 25 in a tie game. I tell you what, if I'm Boogs right here, you need points. You might not get the ball back. Not with the way Silent plays. Stafford. Coverage D. Good user. Better all. Great find. It's a fumble. And it's picked up by Silent. And Dion recovers. And you're right. Night Train. That's two plays, but Night Train, let's go. He might not get the ball back as Night Train Lane absolutely layers a hammer stick right there. That's the turnover you need if you're Silent that can get you to close this game out. Watch this. Watch this cat and mouse game. Watch Taylor. He's going to go right. He'll go left with Coleman. Try to juke him. He's able to pick up a yard, second and nine. And wherever Taylor isn't, <laughs> that's where he's trying to avoid. And so he, he's looking to see where, where does Boogs go, which gap. Because when Boogs gets with top Taylor, he wants to either shoot this gap here or that gap there. And then wherever the user is, he wants to go the opposite way from there. Avoid a big hit. Second and nine from the 49. Four minutes to go in this one in a tie game here in game number three. That's a quick pass. Demarius Thomas gets his mitts on it. His first catch of the game for two yards. And what makes this so difficult to defend, again, I'm going to call it the cover four. You call the cover four in these situations because you're anticipating a run. It puts your safeties in run step first. But that's going to change your whole defensive philosophy if you get a pass. You're not in the right style of defense to stop what he wants to do. Third and seven. This is a huge run by Colvin. <laughs> Here, Silent say, give me the speed, the need for speed. Yeah, and that time, Books gets quick snap, gets caught on his defensive tackle, doesn't have the uh, Taylor over the middle of the field to make a play. And on that third down, now Books went to a cover two. That's a more aggressive, I need to uh, get a stop uh, through the air. But now you see Silent cat and mouse, he goes to the run, first down. Coleman now, over 150 yards rushing. Love this run here. Stretches it out, just cuts it back inside. How much of him and thinking, I don't want to score quick? It looked like he could have just ran it in with Coleman that last possession. I, I mean, that he had running room yeah. off there. I mean, right? you saw if, right? if you saw it and I saw it, yeah. you know he saw that. But yeah. he banged that bad boy back up inside. And take a look at this, 26 runs. That is bananas. The, the more staggering is 39 plays to 11. Which Boogs had the pick six. How big was that? <laughs> so that'll take it to the two-minute warning if that man, Reginald Brown, allows it to do so. That was almost the play he needed right there. He shoots the gap. That's that user-on-user -user run we were talking about. Okay, where's Sean Taylor? I need to avoid him. Third and nine. We'll take it to the two. He's got to take it to the two. Yep. And he will. So, so now on third and nine, okay, a couple things you got to oh watch boy. out for if you're Boogs here, right? You know he will run the ball if he ha feels like he has a favorable matchup. But 
a couple areas you really need to watch out for from a previous read we saw uh, in this game. There's going to be a motion delayed post. Watch out for that to Randy Moss. That's a big time read. And then this pesky little corner and flat combination off the left side. You're going to get a corner and a flat. That's what you're going to watch out for. And it goes to Coleman. It's and he fight punches his way. And it's going to be fourth and inches. I'm going to throw up. I think I just did. <laughs> but, I mean, that's what you get, right? I mean, he, he will run the ball there. Third and nine. He does not care. He's a honey badger. You played a lot of Madden yourself. If you're booked, why not use a timeout there? Because he, he feels as though he's, he's going to probably convert here. You have to save it for the next set of downs. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Encroachment. It's got to be. That's oh, devastating. It's false start. That is... That is Absolutely start. devastating for Silent. The old fake Snapperino. And now he's got a kick for three. Here we go. I mean, this is this is big boy time, right? This is championship football right now. It's 13-10. For both of these players, you could not ask for a better situation to be in. If you're Bugs, you have a chance to win this game with your offense. Now, if you're silent, you have a chance to get a stop and win this game with your defense, both the staple of how you got here. Well, we had the number 27 seed, Volt move on. Number 31 seed, Los move on. And now the 15 seed has a three-point lead over the number six seed, Boogs. 86 seconds remaining in this one. Full timeouts for both. Stafford. A lot of coverage. Throws it. Great read. And Dallas Clark. Good read and a good grab. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of coverage right now from uh, Silent Soldier as Books gets an absolute dart down that left sideline. He's a great way to start this drive. All three timeouts in your back pocket. So Bunch to the right, Harrison to the left. A minute to go now. Corner blitz. Great Quick read, throw. Bunch. Great read. He had willed them up over there on the verticals. Set up. I mean, he's been setting that play up since the beginning of the game, and he goes to it, and he gets the overthrow. We've said that when you blitz that corner off that edge, it opens up a lot of space off that right sideline at the immediate snap of the ball. Unfortunately, it gets the overthrow. Matthew Stafford. That's the guy. Second and 10. 59 seconds to go. Trailing by three is Boogs. How good is this, boys? It's been a defensive battle, but it's coming down to the final minute. Watch for pressure right. He's going to roll left here. No, nope, he brings it left. Throws across his body, Marvin Harrison. He's caught some big grabs in his day, and that moves it across the 50 to the 42. Two nice conversions here on this drive, and wisely take a look. Boogs saving all three of his timeouts. He knows he might need those as we approach and uh, get in the red zone area here. He's about, you know, he's 59-yard field goal territory. He's going to need field. Jason Myers, yeah, 75 need overall from Jacksonville. Give me 10 more yards, and I feel okay. Motion across. Time becoming a factor. Throws underneath, and there's Chad Johnson. First down and more. In field goal range. Got more than 10. Let's just make it 21. Yeah, quick slant. You had to see all the users downfield. Left Chad Johnson wide open underneath. Now, if you're books, you did the hard part. You move the rock all the way down. You have a chance to get a tie here. Protect the ball. Safe throws back in the end zone only. 28 seconds. 21 yards to go. Stafford. Got to be careful with the reads, and he just checks it down to Chad Johnson. Now you've gone from the red zone to the dead zone, and you only got one timeout remaining. And you, you need to start thinking at what point do you see the preparation with guys like Skimbo pay off Ooh. here? Do you get that little wheel pattern on the outside? Chad Johnson for the Kobe, for the crib shot. 20 seconds to go. Corner out. Throw it away. Stafford. Throw it away. And he's going to throw it up for Clark. And he could not drag the toes. What the what? Wow. I mean, that was a throw into tight coverage right there. 
And now you can't. You got that 12. Was gutsy. <laughs> that was very gutsy, okay? Because a little tip ball there, back of the end zone. We've already seen a tip pick uh, for Silent Soldier's defense. That you, you can't go down that way, right? I mean, you're already in field goal range. This is where you wish you had Aaron Rodgers instead of Stafford. Somebody that could, a little bit more mobility. The throw to the corner! And did he get his butt down? No, he dropped it. He caught it, hit the ground, and dropped the rock. One more time, take a look. Stafford throws an absolute dime back in the end zone. Take a look. He hits the ground. Maybe knocked away there. Last Separation. minute there by Rashad Melvin. Who? I'm telling you, man, you got to look back at that Moss. You got to look back at that Skimbo route. Champ Bailey also in there on the coverage. One more time for the culture. This is it. High point! And a touchdown for Bugs! Out of here. He'll take the lead in the final seconds. And Mama Bugs is happy. <laughs> Mama Bugs is happy because he made just booked his ticket to the next round here. Take a look. He does do the skimbo. All the attention over there to Moss. We get the inside route to Clark. Beautiful play design right there. Shout out to his lab partner, Skimbo, in the front row. Huge play. There's the squip. <laughs> so we'll have one play, and he'll have to hurl it to the end zone. And boy, silent soldier. Tough. Played your heart out. Tough. One time for the folks in Crystal City, Texas. You still have time, okay? Three seconds. It starts with getting your pass protection in order, okay? You, you have to give yourself a chance to at least get the ball downfield. He's got a quarterback that can do it. I'd like to see you block your tight end, block your halfback, and then chuck the ball downfield to Moss. Three Moss deep is your guy. in the defense, and he'll use one of his three timeouts. You can't take those back to Texas with you. No, and, and we've seen we've seen big throws be completed before in the past. And Now, if you're Boogs, you, you play quarters three deep, you have three deep safeties over the middle of the field, back everybody up, then you take your user defender, Sean Taylor, and you run him backwards before the snap of the ball. I don't like this positioning. And he'll take a sack, and Come that'll on, be the man. game. And Bugs, Reginald Brown, you're moving on to the group of eight. Unbelievable game by both of these players. And you have to tip your cap to the way Boogs played that game. We didn't see him play his greatest John Madden football in no. the group stage. We didn't no. see him play his greatest game here. But no. guess who's moving on? Found a way to win one drive. That was his only offensive touchdown proved to be the winner. That's all he needed. You needed one championship drive, and that's all you need sometimes. Let's go down to the field with Drea. <laughs> well, Scott, my heart is racing right now. Bugs, ice in your veins on that last drive. Just a savage. Take me through it. It was a good game. He's a really tough competitor. There's nothing else I can say about him. He's, just, he's, a, good, he's a good player. One down, three to go. Yeah, it was an excellent matchup. And after I saw you pointing to Skimbo and your wife, we'll get to her in just a second. But Skimbo, he's really been there for you as a lab partner. How did prepping with him prepare you for this, these moments today? I just thought about what would Skimbo do right here? Chuck, oh. chuck it. So I chucked it. There you go. Well, congratulations. And I want to introduce your lovely wife. She's been your rock. I know that Bugs booked your ticket here even before he knew he was going to be here. He was that confident. What was it like for you to see him pull this game out this way today? Um, it was nerve-wracking, but he always comes through, so I knew he was going to do it. What's the most exciting thing about seeing your man on the stage, one of the biggest Madden players in the world, just excel in the way that he's had time after time in all these big majors? I'm very proud of him. My kids are proud of him. They talk about him. My whole school back at home, I'm a teacher, so my whole mm -hmm. school's rooting for him, so it's, it's exciting. No doubt. What advice do you give him? I mean, are you out there giving him some advice before these matchups or just giving him that love and support? Um, definitely the support. That's what matters the most. No doubt. Well, she's a ride or die. Bugs, congratulations. And let's send it to Dave, Rico, and Zach. Thank you, Drea. Guys.